money brings women. One of the funniest things I heard uh, was that for women, it's this thing that you can, um, you can apply to. You know, you got all these blogging sites and stuff, and it's called Baller Alert. Our slogan is, you know, for women who want to live the ballerific life. When Michael Jordan was playing for the Wizards, at the time I was the VIP coordinator for one of the hottest clubs, a block away from the MCI Center where Michael Jordan played. We had a radio broadcast at the time, and it was a live broadcast going on. We shouted out that Michael Jordan was in the club, and maybe an hour later, 2,000 girls showed up. This is how serious this thing is. When a baller shows up to a place, you receive a text on your phone so you can get nice and cute and go out and try and catch you a baller. I had 7,000 girls signed up. Wow. Women, they take notice. They see. They see the guys that are spending money. They see how they're dressed. And so we go get the money to entertain and appease the women. <laughs> if it wasn't about women, you think a lot of guys would purchase a big rope chain or, 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 or a fancy car? Probably not. You know, you got women about telling you how cute you are when, you know, I was an ugly duckling maybe just a month ago. The players complain about the gold diggers, but they do everything possible to attract them. Ballers are groupies, too. They'll have their entourage go and find women and bring them to the VIP. It's almost like if you're watching Animal Planet. Some athletes say they are targeted by women who are trying to get pregnant. There are women out there that are looking to either become pregnant or marry an athlete just because of their financial status. Uh, women trapping football players, a multi-million dollar business. I've dealt with it myself. Women out there that extort guys out of money. I'm gonna put you out there in the newspaper. I'm gonna expose you for what you are. And a lot of the guys that write checks, you know, they write, you know, twenty-five, fifty, hundred thousand dollar checks to these women. You think you're getting that support, you're getting that love, you're getting this and that. But I tell you this, it comes with a price, and the price is your money. I got in an argument with this uh, young lady who I was seeing at the time. And we're sharing this bank account, and there's like a million dollars in the bank account. I said what I said, she said what she said. Took her, her family, we all got on first class flights, went to Jamaica, stayed in this mansion, had servants and everything for a whole week. So I come back, I go in and check my bank account, and there's $400,000 in the bank account. And I was like, what the heck? I said, I know damn well I didn't spend $600,000 in Jamaica. I go and I ask the young lady, and she says to me, Oh, well, when you got, we got into our argument, you said you were going to leave me. So I opened up my own account, and I put the money in my account. I said, what the hell did you just... That might be the craziest thing that ever happened to me, but don't get no worse than that. Rising Sundays have been astounding, but the Mondays through Saturdays have been troublesome. A paternity suit in 1991, a contempt of court charge for late payments a year later and another paternity suit filed this summer. A year ago, he was arrested for firing a gun when people intervened in a fight he was having with his girlfriend. I lost two houses back to back. On June 9th, Ryzen's house was destroyed in a fire. His girlfriend, rap singer Lisa Lopez, was charged with setting the blaze. I could tell that, you know, she had been drinking a little bit. And I slapped her after I had been hit about 50 times to try to calm her down. A witness says he saw Lopez standing over a bathtub where the fire started, yelling obscenities and saying, I don't care anymore. It's like we all stopped what we was doing and we looked up. This black smoke just rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you step away and the camera goes off and the flashing lights and the cheers go away, a lot of these guys don't know who they're with. That's why divorce rates are so high amongst professional athletes. 60% of players are divorced three years out of ball. 60%. First thing about your career, you'd go back and do over if I gave you a chance. You've got to have something you'd like to go back and not have bought with your pro money. Um, my ex-wife. <laughs> 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 sure as heck don't go into a marriage thinking it's going to end. You don't budget aside two million bucks to say, oh, this is reserved for when I divorce in 12 years. Post my career, I kind of knew there was some things going on within my personal life and within my family that wasn't going to be financially very beneficial. Ended up getting divorced. 
And there's a lot of similarities between um, my ex-wife and my, my father. If it made him happy to get it all, then, got, then go for it, because it just isn't worth the aggravation. Former player Mariana Simonescu said in the divorce settlement, I didn't ask for much, only that I live comfortably for the rest of my life. The high, high, high price of Greg Norman's divorce. Did, did I mention high? It's, it's high, Bob. All of a sudden, you have double the expenses because your spouse is going to, if you don't have a prenup, is going to get some of that money. It's going to get a lot of that money, maybe even half of that money. Even if you're Michael Jordan, look what happened to him in his divorce. He had to pay over $150 million to his ex-wife. He did not have a prenuptial agreement. We've all heard about the incident involving Tiger Woods. Nordegren would not disclose the amount of the divorce settlement, but did say money can't buy happiness or put her family back together. Children are very expensive. I have two children, and I can't tell you how expensive these kids are. I love them to death, but they're expensive. How many children do you have, Trevor? I got nine. With how many different women? Nine. His child support payments now total $17,000 per month, which was more affordable when Henry was still collecting NFL paychecks. Players that are providing child support while they're playing, they go from $1 million a year to zero. Clearly, you need an attorney to, um, to go to the courts and, and see if they can get those adjusted, but most players fail to do that. Holyfield pays hundreds of thousands annually to support the 11 children he's fathered by nine different women. Jason Caffey, who has fathered 10 children by eight women, although he played eight years in the NBA, earning more than $28 million, has left a trail of unpaid child support. Their lifespan in, in their careers will not be long. Then what happens? They're not going to be able to afford to raise these children based on the lifestyle that they've created now. And those consequences will be dire emotionally and financially for the women involved and the children. The money gone, the fame and fortune gone, so do that woman. She 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 be gone too.